Hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to another raid video. We have some big news today. That's why I'm on the test server. We are having the fusion coming in. It's going to be a fragment collection this Thursday with collaboration heroes also joining into the game with the game called Monster Hunter. Okay, big collaboration with five new champions joining into the game. One of them will be the daily login champion that will be starting, I believe, when the video goes live. And then the Fragment Collection Fusion will be starting this Thursday. So um, everything else will be through in-game activities and some champions will be specifically through shards, but I'll make a separate video for that one. So what I wanted to do on this video today, guys, was to showcase the one champion, right, that will be featured through the um, Fragment Collection. And that is, let me just find her. There she is, Zenogre Blade Master. All right, so these new, uh, all these new champions have... Some of them have Blade Master in the end. So the the theme with the Monster Hunter, I believe, is that each character, I guess, in that game has their own weapon. And that's how the theme goes. With also here with Zenogra Blade Master, she's got her own weapons, which are very, very specific. And each of these heroes added also have like extra damage or something very specific dealt on bosses. So it's pretty cool that they're doing this collaboration. So it 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 really makes me think of collaborations that Raid might be doing in the future once all of this is over. The, this will be over around March. So after that, probably they'll have planned something else because Xena will be over uh, this month. And then we've got Xenogra Blade Master uh, um, and everything else finishing by March. So let me just show you what she does. I've, of course, built her with high damage because uh, she is... she seems to be like a high damage dealing champion but single target so have that in mind um look at that 283 6.6k attack and 215 in terms of speed in terms of skills let's go and have a look at them we've got an attack speed aura for dungeons then an a1 which applies a weekend uh triple hitting a1 pretty cool and then a2 attacks one enemy four times each hit increases this champion's turn meter by five percent <laughs> also places a 30% increased speed buff on all allies for two turns. So this is pretty cool. And then we have Blade Spin, which is the A3 attacks by an enemy four times. Before attacking, places increased attack, and then the Leech, and then decreased attack on the 1-2, the and then the 3-4 for the decreased attack, and that's uh, what she does on the A3. And then we have the Passive, increases the damage this champion deals by 1%. For every 1% of HP loss, stacks up to 50%. This is pretty cool. And then this increased damage doubles if the target is under decreased defense, which is um, pretty weird because you don't have it in your skill set. So you'll have to have some other champion apply that. Just have that in mind. Also has an active effect, which is the four turn cooldown. Prevents this champion's death and keeps them alive for one HP. If this skill prevents this champion's death, heals them by 50%. Pretty cool. Um, I guess that, that could be used as an arena skill, but... Overall, it's it's very weird to use it as an arena skill, but the multi-hit has potential. I don't know about her uh, multiplier, so um, we'll just have to see in terms of the numbers and, and see what that does. In terms of damage, I went for Helm Smasher, okay, through Masteries, and then I went for Master Hexer and Sniper for those debuffs. So if I really want to apply the debuffs, I'll have to go a little bit heavier in terms of accuracy but let's go and have a look at her damage a little bit and then i'll obviously throw her into my fire knight team and then with the fire knight team i might have to switch her gear out with the the one champion that i use in there already and that's razzle varg i use him in there but he's got a five star blessing which is um is, is giving him a lot of damage already he's like at 260 uh crit damage he's got high attack because of the blessings and high speed and um, in terms of accuracy, I guess I guess we can make it through what we have. Um, I'll just have to see. But she does have kind of low speed for Fire Knight um, hard mode. But I guess I can try Fire Knight hard 6 and see how that does. So let's go for an initial like a damage test. Let's go to the Dragon's Lair. Let's go to 23, which is Void. And just throw her in there. There we go. Just an increased attack, decreased defense, and a weaken. Nothing uh, other than that. Uh, we want to see the damage through just these. And and just basically rate the champion, really. In terms of single target damage. If she can kill them all, then, I mean, the gear is, is justified on. So, let's see the... 
A2 first. Oh, yeah, she applies English attack herself. So this is 200,000, around 200,000 damage with the A2. Not that great, but um, I guess she does do more damage if she's low health. But she's not low health at the moment. Um, for every 1% HP loss, yeah, you gotta be getting hit for this to actually be worth it for the passive. But uh, let's have a look at the A3 on a different target. Ah, uh, yeah, this, this that seemed to be more, um, you know, high damage dealing. Still pretty cool though. So let's just exit and obviously have a test at her in. Well, the Fire Nine. That's that's where they've advertised it to us that she's gonna be great at. So we're gonna go stage six. Gonna start small here, and um, Razalark is so good here because he just has that increased speed that he applies to himself and becomes so fast. So I don't even know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. We'll see if she's she's worth it. Razalark also has the AOEs, so she's already um. She's already a little bit left behind. So let's see. Recently used first should bring her up there. Let's go. And she's also very slow now. So that's why I'm, I'm trying stage six to see whether she's she's worth it or not. So I'll do this on manual. Don't need to do this on auto. Apply a decrease defense. We'll have that, I guess. There's the weekend. Like, I don't need to apply it myself, so. Just use my skills as normal. Yes, she does this. The increased speed. Look at that. Beautiful. Could use the ally attack here. Because that's going to reset soon. I mean, Razzlebuck here would have been doing his AoEs and, and clearing this out pretty, pretty confidently, if I'm being honest. But I guess she can replace some, some multi-hitter. Um, I can't think of not using an ally attack in in fire nine no chance so yeah we'll probably the weekends let's go with this all right about hmm, 120 in terms of damage but it's single target that's my problem um what i want to try next is maybe like a hex team something with a hex really sounds where she would fit in best right wouldn't that fit better like, she's got an increased speed. She's got leech, decrease attack in terms of debuffs. No chance of applying these now with the amount of accuracy that I have. I'm not, not really too worried about that, though. So, for now, um, just hit, hit on this, guys, and, and see where this takes us. But, yeah, now that I think of it, I would prefer Hex because she does single target, right? So that can spread on on enemies for the waves, at least for the waves part. For the boss, the Hex doesn't matter at all. So here we do all these multi hits and she's um, she's slower than the Newts. So yeah, now, now I remember that my Newts are kind of fast. So she, she won't be helping that much here, fortunately. But her multi-hits are strong. I mean, she, she's a triple hitter. So the default skill would have been any champion that you got as a triple hitter, she, she would do the same thing. The A2 is interesting, though, because that applies the increased speed. And she does about 11, 11k per hit. Not, not that much. Not that much for sure. There's a decreased defense. Let's do one plus bash. I mean, the newts now will be carrying, carrying us. In terms of damage, I want to see her maybe maybe she can rank this up a little bit. Now with the defense down. Can she do anything here with this? Increase attack on herself and then quad hitting. Let's see. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. About 200k. About 200 k with with all of that. I mean, uh, what else can you expect? I'm a little bit underwhelmed by her, but. I'll probably still go for her just because she's going to be just another hero to have available um, for Centranos for the future, really. Um, I'm in no position to to be just not getting champions in the future. So, uh, pretty cool. In terms of damage, she did like a million. And then the Newt, of course, with the max damage that they do, 
They did two and a 1.8, plus they do AoE. She's just single target. So, in terms of wave clear, um, what I could see instead of Stagnite, right? If I use something uh, with like a Hex, could that be better for just overall damage? I would need Hex plus um, Defense down. So, let me just have a think of... All right, I'm going to use my... <laughs> I'm gonna use my mission now. Actually, he can apply the hex, and he also has a decreased defense, so he can help a little bit with the damage. But the hex is it, it's it's where it's at with Zinogre, right? Because she's single target, so that's that seems like a a pretty crucial debuff to have um, with this with this type of champion, right? So we'll see how we um, make this work. Okay, so we've got the. The weekend. Let's do another AOE here. Might as well. There's the hex. So here, let's test this out. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's not as much as you would expect. Like three, four thousand, because it's ten percent of the initial hit. So even if she does like in total like two hundred thousand, it's gonna be twenty thousand through hex on the other targets. And when these enemies have, I don't know how much health. It's it doesn't add to that much. You think it would add up too much? It doesn't add up too much. But um, still, it's still a cool champion, I guess. Uh, the overall kit decrease attack plus leech. Um, if I give her now like an an accuracy banner, she's gonna be great, I guess, for stuff like um, I don't know the Hydra. Her damage isn't that amazing but i would still probably use her for for the debuffs if i if i needed her if i didn't have it in in the skill set of my account let's say this is not the account that you're looking at let's say i had a new account and i needed that kind of skill set then yeah um i think she would work great so here the hex will do nothing on the boss so that's that's basically what i thought with hex hex would work great on the 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 waves and then on the boss it wouldn't do much unless if you use something like a Mishinagi where Mishinagi has uh, a specific um, use when, when when there's hex on the um, on the target. So so double hits. Yes, we do apply it. Let's do an increased speed. Let's see. Can we hit hit them actually? I should have. Uh, should have boosted her speed because now the boss is gonna hit us probably oh, maybe not the idea would be for her to be faster that's that's how i would build her ideally for fire knight but i would lose out on so much more damage because she's at 220 speed right now with savage cruel and she's she's hitting okay but not that crazy not that crazy um i would have expected a little higher because if we think about other champions with similar gear, in total, their hits are, are way higher. So her hit does about 5% of the boss's health. If you think about 200k, 400k is 10% of the boss's health. So she, she, does, um, she does that. So um, instead of Helm Smasher, of course, I would probably do Giant Slayer on her. If I just strictly use her in dungeons. Helm Smasher would be more so for arena stuff or for beating high defense targets like Sintranos. So for Giant Slayer, that would have worked very much better, obviously there for the Fire Knight. But um, what I think is the, the Helm Smasher would work much better on Sintranos where the enemies would have high, high defense. So um, this will be the Fragment collection that we'll need to do for like two weeks until about the end of January to pick her up. Obviously, a solid Shadow King. I think she's also going to work very well together with Lady Mikage because Lady Mikage, if you guys don't remember, if you have a look at her kit, her A1 attacks by an enemy with one random ally from the Shadow King faction. So if you pair them together, um, Lady Mikage plus her can actually do solid amount of, of hits on the boss in terms of the amount of, of numbers um that they can do but obviously lady mikai can also work great with the newts you would prefer sometimes to have newt instead go in with the ally attack of course that would be random if you're running two newts plus lady mikage would be like two out of five 
uh, no, well, three out of five. Um, so probably you don't want her if you've got Lady Mikage. So kind of have to have the, that in mind. And I guess this is more for the, the mid game players because uh, mid game players would need something that can apply a leech, I would say. Does have some use, but again, this is single target. So very, very specific cases where single target will work great. And that would be, I would guess, the clan boss, which is what I will be testing out next. So I will switch her out for a relentless set. I'll give her giant slayer. So she's going to work specifically for my clan boss team. We'll do like the, the bad eater setup. I'm going to transfer all the gear that I have. Um, Could test her out with the savage, I guess. All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, I actually thought about it because of her A2, which provides increased speed and Terminator boost, like 20% Terminator. I would need to do some proper speed tuning and she's not on the Dead with Jedi website. So I'm no magician in terms of Terminator. So we'll just have to do some just normal fights and see how she does. And what I would love to see is things that would boost her damage up. So uh, I would obviously need a decreased speed. And she would work best in, a, in an unkillable team because her health, her health would be at zero, basically. And then she would get boost from this passive right here, which she will be doing basically double damage because of this. So that's what I eventually want to see in terms of her damage potential. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to build something and see how her damage ranks um, just, just goes up as, as time passes. So I'm guessing um let's do let's do another ally attack i guess and uh, we'll see how that does all right let's go into the clan balls and, and uh, just have a look at her damage and see how that does with with the savage cruel not with relentless um relentless would have been fun though but i think the the extra ignore defense that you get is also uh quite notable so let's try and apply the decrease defense first to get this started <laughs> Got a resist. <laughs> I don't even know how I got a resist there, uh, but let's let's get going with some online attacks there. Just have lots of uh, Terminator boosting with this team. And uh, she's going to get started now. Let's see. It's with like 35k on the boss. The Giant Slayer hits for like 30. There's the decrease defense finally. Boost our buffs here. And boom. All right, we start getting hit. Pretty cool. It's not going to help her survive, but what I want to see is her, her health dropping low so that her passive just ranks up in damage. There's the leech. There's the decrease attack. That's what I want to see in terms of keeping us healthy. Um... Not too healthy though, because remember, we gotta get hit. We gotta drop at least 50%. To get like a 50% damage boost. And then with a decreased defense, sh that goes to 100% damage boost. She hits for like 50k now. Mm, not, that, not that crazy, but she still hasn't lost any health. That's why I think in like an unkillable, she would be fun. There's a decreased defense. There we go. Lots of buffs. Um, I, I didn't think I was going to be using Lanaki, so I could have actually reduced my, my crit rate for this. But yeah, let's just let this go on, on uh, auto a little bit just to see on the damage potential. I could have done a quick battle, but that's not the point. It's not the point, really. Look at that. We, we're at 5 million damage per, uh, per three turns so far. So about 2 million per, per turn. And if I, if I had proper gearing, I would do relentless. I would do reaction, uh, refresh on everybody, but they literally gave us the access on the test server about 12 hours before the embargo. So the, the time we can post videos, right? So 12 hours before to prep any sort of content. It's just nuts. Um, makes no sense. Honestly, <laughs> it's, it's so early. Um, it's so late. Sorry. It's so late for us to do it. And, and for me, like it's, it's 9 PM my time. Like how much can you do, um, uh, before, before the time goes. So look at that four turns, 10 million damage, uh, doing great so far with this kind of setup. Um, so I'm going to let this run for a little bit and we'll see when, when it eventually dies and how much damage we're doing.
And now I'm back, guys. So look at this. 16 turns, 42 million damage. So almost, almost 3 million damage. Less than 3 million damage. Look at that. It's going to die. Uh, less than 3 million damage uh, per turn. But it's pretty cool to do like a 2 key in, in such a quick time. Um, well, not time, but turn boss count is better wording. Um, so I, I think she can totally fit in, in, a, in a proper team. Proper unkillable team like a Demetha team. She can fit with the increase um, attack speed. So she can go with the lower speeds as well. Uh, but obviously with, with tuning, you got to make th sure things work. And um, that would work. That would Jedi's website would, would probably make it work. Uh, I am guess he's going to come out and make a video for sure on her. Just... Uh, just as another showcase, I would imagine. So yeah, look at that, 45 million. I wonder if we're gonna hit 50 before this this kills us, but I think the AOE is gonna be too much on turn count 20. Yeah, already Farrakhan is that di has died, but like Farrakhan, I think has War Master. Not all of them have War Master. Seeker is my my normal Seeker, so I didn't expect much out of this team. This was just to see her work basically. Her damage. Is what I expected, like 45,000, 50,000 per hit. It goes up when there's a defense down. She gets hit a little bit. But uh, for that to go up, there's the there's the passive there. For that to go up, you need the decrease defense, which she does not apply herself, which kind of sad because you need to, to do a synergy with other champions in there that do have the decrease defense so that you can make that work. But uh, look at that. Turn boss 20, 48 million damage. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look uh, at by the end. Can she do the remaining 1.4? I don't think so. She's no, she's no magician, right? Look at that. Uh, like with a relentless, would that be that much crazy? I don't think. There's her passive. Ah, oh, how did that kill her? Was that like a poison? 49.33 and she did 22 million damage. 22 million damage. Um... Very nice. Seeker did 11. And consider that Seeker had like 50 speed higher than her. And uh, he's... Well, he doesn't have the Savage. But, I mean, he, we know Seeker hits hard. He gets an extra turn when he get, goes in and hits. And she just doesn't get an extra turn. She gets a little bit of a terminator boost. But the increased speed on everybody is very nice. And overall, very, very strong damage dealer. I'm not disappointed at all with her. Um, in terms of, of her being like a clown boss champion, but you need to do separate tuning for it, which it isn't always easy. So that was the video, guys, on Xenogre Blade Master. Jeez, what, na what name she's got? Xenogre, Zeno, Zeno, Zeno. I am guess I'm, I'm, we're going to be calling her Xenogre. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a fragment collection that will be coming soon. We won't know the exact fusion schedule until the actual time comes on Thursday when the fusion is up. This was the video, guys. Thank you all. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.